All right, so I have my Saks 1050 flywheel here. And then I have my clutch kit for, 70, for a 79K20 and some ARP. And then I have some ARP bolts for a small block Chevy LS with 12 inch clutch. So far, what I'm running into is I have to pull these studs out. There's two studs, it looks like, that come with the flywheel. I'm going to have to pull those, and then I'm going to maneuver the pressure plate over. And I believe all I have to do is waller out a couple of these holes, the mounting holes, and then this, the 79 pressure plate, will mount directly to the LS flywheel. All right, so I popped out the studs and lined up the clutch and pressure plate on the flywheel. And as you can see, all the holes almost look like they mount up, or they line up. So I'm about to try and put some bolts in and see. I read that you have to waller them out, but it almost looks like you don't have to. We'll find out. I love Chevy. So three of these bolts go directly in. Like it's almost like it was made for it. And this is a 79 clutch. On the, I want to say this is supposed to be like an 02, 03 flywheel for like a 4.8 with an NV3550. Three of them go directly in. Flawless. The other three, it seems, I'll just edit that out. Uh, the other three are lining up, but the bolt hole is just barely, barely too small. So there's only three that don't go through, but it looks like all I'm going to have to do is just run a drill bit through enlarge the hole slightly and it'll go in. And then I can't use the throw out bearing that goes with it. I've heard they have longer ones that you can buy that should work but I decided to go with Decided to go with an LS7 throw out bearing, which fits on there perfectly and it rests. This is on my junk 5.3. It rests in this hole instead of in the inside one, which is where a throw out bearing would normally go. So it rests just right in this large hole. And that is all you need to adapt. an older trans to an LS motor. This bell housing bolts directly to the LS with the exception of this bolt that isn't used on the older models and then I don't remember if it's this one or this one that doesn't go through because the Chevy doesn't have a boss for it because of how far the head goes back. Looks like the one on the passenger side. Doesn't use this hole. And then the Chevy, the LS motors don't have a boss for that hole. But everything else bolts straight up to it. And then I am using a Novak 
slave cylinder to convert it to a hydraulic clutch. And this is designed to work specifically with the Jeep master cylinder. Well, here it is. The clutch finally bolted to the LS flywheel. I did have to waller out three holes. It seems that they used a smaller bolt on the older models, on three of them. For the bolts, I used an ARP part number 134-2203 and that is for the pressure plate to the flywheel and for the flywheel I used for the flywheel I used ARP bolts part number 330-2802 and that goes from flywheel to the crank The clutch is just a clutch from your regular parts store. This is a Duralast part number NU1909. And again, that was for a 79K20. Didn't realize it came with a throw out bearing, which I'd already bought one. So, well, I guess I got an extra one now. <laughs> 